what is up y'all welcome back to my channel my name is patty for those of you who do not know and we are getting into another oh, weekly vlog <laughs> and it is officially my second day <clears throat> back at uh, working full time <laughs> hey y'all it's been really really good i had like a full day of orientation yesterday um and i y'all the benefits the benefits the retirement like they have a pension like this is this is, this is gonna be good for your girl <laughs> um so i'm feeling really good um uh, just a little tired i kind of really wish i had like a buffer day <laughs> between you know getting back from the wedding um i just feel like i needed one more day to just sit there <laughs> uh, but it's been pretty good um i low-key miss putting on clothes don't miss the time it takes to put on clothes but i do miss like being dressed <laughs> so um today is tuesday and you already know what that means yes i'm going to the movies i'm going to go see um the bar marley movie but first i'm, I'm gonna lay here because your girl's a little a little tired a little tired <laughs> uh, what else do we have this week um, I'll be going back to the gym probably tomorrow. Um, and then this weekend we will be in Richmond for Burbert's birthday and my daddy's birthday. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out if I should go Friday after I get off. Um, maybe that. Because Thursday and Friday I'll be working from home. So. <sighs> Feeling all the feels, y'all. Feeling really, really good. It's just like, wow, I just need to sit down. Because <laughs> uh, I was trying to, like, push through a lot of my, um, you know how you start a job. You got all these trainings and all these little things you need to do. I was trying to bust it down. But then it was like, girl, you got time. So, like, why are you rushing? <laughs> so, I'm about to lay it down until we go to the movies. Um, definitely going to eat dinner there because your girl ain't been to the grocery store. And there's really no point. I'm only going to be here for two days and gone again. <laughs> um, and I did officially take off uh, for next week. So um, a day. You'll see what we'll get into and where I'm going to be at next week <laughs> in the next vlog. But y'all, I'm feeling really, really good. Um, it's been nice meeting people. Nice getting those interactions. Um, and I feel like this is going to be a really, really good place for me. I really like my supervisor. Um, everyone seems to be pretty nice. Uh, I'm still trying to gauge like the workload. Um, but I can tell you right now, the calendar does not look like the calendar in my previous job. And I am okay with that. <laughs> They've already started to send me like all the meeting invites and such. So enough of that, y'all. Let's go get ready to lay down and then head on out to the movies. back in the office it feels so like i don't know <laughs> good i guess to be back in this expensive chair that i have brought and put together <laughs> so um it's my first official like work from home day i get to work from home today and tomorrow um and we have so much to get done um i have errands i need to run today um i want to get a pedicure um because my toes is throwing up gang signs <laughs> i need to pick up a target order i want to run in gnc and get me some protein shakes because your girl's back in the gym <laughs> and what else we gotta do oh we gotta pack today because we're hitting the road again tomorrow um 
yeah we got we got a lot to do and i kind of need to figure out my schedule of things that i need to get done personally next week because we get back for a few days and then i fly back to dc wednesday evening um going to burn boy concert <laughs> on thursday um and then coming back down the wee hours in the morning friday so i can still work and do all the things so <sighs> Um, Alana and my sister are going to be coming back with me. So I need to make sure like the home is clean. Things are stocked. So we got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. I'm trying to figure out what outfits to pack. Um, because Saturday is Brit Bird's birthday. Uh, I think I decided on what dress I'm going to wear. I've worn it before, but it's, I've only worn it once and it's been like a year. I hope it fits. <laughs> That's the thing. So I'm gonna bring that in a backup dress. But I'm trying to figure out what to wear if we do something during the day Saturday. Um, so y'all, we just got things to do. I'm feeling good. I'm really, really proud of myself for pushing through and getting up and getting back in the gym this morning. Um, but y'all, <laughs> the morning times I'm feeling really, really good. But like around five, six o'clock, your girl crashes, and that's it. Like the mental is 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 gone. <laughs> I ain't got nothing else to give. Uh, and definitely ten o'clock is a bedtime. Like I was trying to stay up so I could watch the new episodes of Love Is Blind, and I I could not make it. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna try to run out during lunch today to pick up my orders. Um, and to also get um pick up my orders and to also get the pedicure because i was supposed to have a meeting today on my calendar at one but that was just canceled so i'm gonna just bring my computer and we just gonna be rolling <laughs> i need to find my adapter i know it's in the car somewhere i feel like it's hiding like under the seat um i highly recommend it for those who work from home hybrid all that type of stuff because it'll plug into your um what do you call that thing is a cigarette lighter no i ain't a cigarette lighter where you plug in your um the circle port not the like the usb and usc port it's the circle one i don't know what it's called <laughs> but you can plug it in there and it'll actually have like the three um dot plugs which i'll show you if i can find it i know it's in my car somewhere or it's in the trunk but it's in there and that way um especially you know some of these work computers they lose charge pretty quickly you can keep going um and doing the things you need to do um and i can get done some of my trainings while i'm getting my pedicure done so we got so much to do oh and we also need to plan out these meals because I decided to opt for a shorter lunch because I like getting off earlier. <laughs> I'd rather go ahead and shorten that thing on down and take the time off the end of the day. So I definitely want to have like some quick, healthy type of meals to bring with me. Um, we just got a whole lot to do. I also need to order like water, like my big water jug. I used to carry with me when I was working my gallon jug. Um, and I threw it away when I was moving because I was just stressed out and tired and I just couldn't think of where to put it. So I just threw it in the trash. <laughs> so I definitely need to get that as well as getting lemons because I want to be back on my lemon water kick. So much to do, but I'm feeling really good. Um, so yeah, let's let's clean this up a little bit because as you can see, I got papers here, I got stuff over there. Um, this room was a hot mess. Like I had tucked everything into this little area so I could film, but I need to like really go through some of these papers and bills and such. And then we're gonna head on outside. <laughs> So did I lose my mind? Did I lose my ever loving mind? All the places that I just got back from. Are you ready? Number one, we went to go pick up the rest of our birth control prescription. I didn't do my three month supply last month because my insurance for my part time, which I'm gonna be canceling because my full time is way better no longer uses CBS as a pharmacy and CBS has been my dog, my ride or die for years, you know what I'm saying? So I had to get that situated, you know what I'm saying? So I went back to go get the other two months, okay? Did that, went to um, 
the hair store because your girl was out of lashes. So I had to re-up, re-up. So I got four pairs. Huh? Okay, let me stop. <laughs> when it got the lashes, um, I, cause I also, I was wearing my nightlife lashes to work and I'll have like a more subtle pair I like for every day. Um, or when I'm wearing sunglasses cause it won't hit them. They're just really nicely, really, really nicely curved. After I did that, then went over to Concord Mills to pick up my Sephora order, which I have been dying to re-up on this. <laughs> this is my absolute favorite um, overnight mask. Super hydrating, especially if you're getting into, why am I still got my sunshades on? Especially if you are um, getting into retinols. When you first start using retinols, they are extremely drying, extremely drying. Um, and some people even peel this in the, um, what's that thing called? The Snail Mucinex, that essence, and this are the things that I believe help my skin not to peel because they are super, super hydrating. Um, this is absolutely amazing. Um, another key note is to don't do this right before you're jumping in the bed. Make sure you give yourself at least 30 minutes to an hour so you can get all the benefits from your night skin time routine. <sighs> I literally just walked in the house and I did one strip of all this stuff. Girl is tired. Um, so I did get a new discovery set. <laughs> this will be for the April fragrance video, Boy Smells. I've heard so many things about it, y'all. I've been wanting to smell these, try these. So this will be coming out um, in a video in April. I have a different fragrance video we're going to have for March. But that order is arriving, I think, on Monday. Um, and then I went to get um, Burbert's birthday gift and we are fragrance lovers. <laughs> Burbert and Nika, I think we're probably like the most aggressive fragrance fiends <laughs> out of my friend group. So I wanted to add to her collection and I got her the um, very good girl, Carolina Herrera. And this is the one that comes in that beautiful stiletto heel. It's a cult favorite, but personally, I think this is the best one of the collection, but again, that's my preference. It's very sexy, <laughs> very sexy. This is the one that's in the red high heel. So I wanted to add to her collection. I think she's tried this before. I can't remember. So it might just be a refill for her, but um, I, I hope she likes. I hope she likes. So that was that. Um, they Sephora also does like shame same day excuse me delivery. Um, sometimes it's free and sometimes it's not, and I'm not sure why sometimes it's not. But this time it wasn't, and I was like, well, I'm gonna be in that area, so I'm gonna just go pick it up. So did that, okay? That's how many stops so far. What two? Okay, after we did no wait yeah no three. That's three stops. CVS hair store Sephora. After Sephora, I was going to go stop and get me a little snaggy snack snack, bust down some lunch. When I got a call from HR, still doing a whole bunch of onboarding stuff, so I had to stop, pull over, share screens. Okay, then I went to go get my toes done because they was throwing like gang signs like gang, 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 gang. Then we were supposed to um, go to Target, pick up my order, which I did. Um, got tissue. Um, and I decided because I'm trying to keep stock now, tribal size toiletries because I'm gone so much, y'all. I travel so much that the heaviest part of my bag typically is my toiletries. Um, and that's because usually I'll check a bag, so I'll just bring my full size toiletries but when I'm flying to DC Wednesday after work I'm not checking the bag I'm just doing a carry on so I had to re-up on my travel size contact solution deodorant because now they got the um clinical strength 
you know, they was alienating us heavy sweaters for a long, long time. But now, <laughs> inclusion, baby. <laughs> Had to get some um, toupees, body wash. Um, this has been my favorite hair oil for almost probably good eight years before all the girlies on TikTok decided to rediscover a brand that was already discovered. And those of us who are ride or dies already knew. All the shade, yes. Also, I need to re-up on my Veet. I do not use razors anymore on any part of my body. My skin does not like it. My skin is bougie. <laughs> and this is the only thing that really holds it down. Back in the day when I first started doing it in like early college days, I used to use Nair, but when your hair grows back, it feels a little weird. So Veet has been my favorite and honestly guys, I've used this so much that I really only need to do this like once a month. Like it just doesn't grow like it used to. Kind of like when you start getting waxes and your hair starts to like calm down and stop being like boom. <laughs> Back in two seconds. Um, I also read up on my travel size Cetaphil. So we are Gucci for Thursday. I mean Wednesday. Truth is I'm tired. But options are not few. They are plentiful. <laughs> and then, I don't know if I ever told y'all that I love these small spaces. Um, for Breeze, my friend uh, Zan put me onto these years ago. And I actually put these in my car. I keep two in my car. Um, I put these in like the laundry room and the closets. And they just keep your linen smelling really good. Your clothes. I really, really like it. Um, y'all already know these my ride or dies, <laughs> my ride, my, all year, every season of the year <laughs> in my home. What else did we get, y'all? Oh, so Bribby's birthday is Saturday, and my daddy's birthday is Sunday. So I had put him on to Bevel, which, if you do not know, it is a black-owned brand um, of what's the proper word like male hygiene <laughs> they have like face washes a lot of um products that are geared towards their shaving and hair removal routines and my daddy absolutely loved it like he loves this stuff so 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 much so i read up on his post a shave balm and i think he said he wanted to try the face gel that you're supposed to use after this so i'm gonna try to see if it's available in richmond at the Target near Brit Brit, so I could just pick it up. Or if it's not, I'll do that before I take this nap. Um, just get it ordered to the house. And then one Christmas is like a bonus stocking stuffer for him. Target has like these travel size fragrances by Goodfellow. And I gave it to him just trying to see maybe he would like it. You know, when he's on the go, he could just throw it in his bag. You just re-up. Because um, my daddy has very a, a, a nice taste in the cologne, okay? <laughs> and they're reasonably priced. So he actually really liked it. He wanted another one. I was like, okay. I did a, I got a little hit. So I decided to get him a full-size bottle of the ones that he really likes, which is the Cedarwood and Grum... It'll be on the screen. And this, these are y'all, these are very reasonable prices. It's 25 bucks. And look how big it is. It smells divine. So, got him that. <sighs> I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> and then oh, I read up on some just house cleaning products. I don't remember this being this big for this price. Well, they must have gave me a big one. Also got some more wipes to the bathroom because I have guests coming. And then after that, guys, I was really supposed to run into the dollar store as well as GNC so I could get my protein shakes. But we're going to do that when I get back in town next week. <laughs> and um, I completely forgot to get cards for Bipper and my daddy and a gift bag. So I'm going to see if uh, Target has some and I could just do a pickup order on my way out tomorrow. 
because I'm really trying not to go back out. And I did stop to get gas. So the tank is full. Your girl's tired. <laughs> I left out at 12 o'clock and it is 420. In my mind, it was going to take two hours. I just... So did I get done half the things I was supposed to get done today? All these trainings? No. But I'll take a nap and then I'm going to do the trainings while I watch TV. I did pack though. I'm glad I did that. My computer was taking a while to charge up. So while I was on the phone with Bripper earlier, I already packed. So only thing that needs to go in that bag is the toiletries and the makeup, which I'll pack tomorrow because I'm going to do my face before I get on the road. That way, when I get to her house tomorrow, I can just put on my clothes and be ready to step out. I don't know if I told y'all we're going out tomorrow. But we're going out. So it used to be this club in Richmond called 534. And if you know, you know. It was a ratchet spot. Okay, a hood spot for sure. But baby, we got sit down and had a good, good time. So they're doing a reunion because the building closed or whatever. Um, and we got a table, honey. The DJ. I think I told y'all there's only a couple of DJs that I've been to and witnessed in Charlotte that I actually really, really like. But a lot of them are just lacking. <laughs> really, really severely lacking. This DJ right here, this DJ right here, we're going to see tomorrow. I got to get ready, okay? I, I got to get my... I, I got I to gotta get in there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm super excited about that. It's going to bring back so many memories. Oh, chat. I just remember I was in a horrible relationship at the time. I would get mad. I would go. Like, when I tell you, this was the type of place where people would just be smoking out in the open. Blacks, weed, just cigarettes. We was just smoking. It wasn't go outside. I mean, inside the building. People would have on sneakers. If you had on heels, you got to cut the line. And it was a separate line. Like you was, yeah. So I'm tired, but I'm excited. And I'm proud of how productive we have been today. So now we about to sit down, sit down and plan out next week. So next week, what would we need to do? We need to do groceries for sure. Um, that way everything's done. I need to clean the bathrooms and go ahead and lay out their pallets because we're getting on the road at like three in the morning after the concert. I make all these plans and things when I'm I I have top tier energy and then when things occur you be like, bro, what was I thinking? Yeah. Um Leave it at 3 30 in the morning so when we get back here i know they're going to be tired um so i just want to have everything ready for them to just knock out shower and all that good stuff and then we're going to bust down the two other videos i need to have recorded for march and some more photography like promo stuff so i'm gonna plan out them outfits not right now. <laughs> We're gonna sit down. I'm about to leave this just like this. It is Friday. Oh, we have made it to the end of another work week. <laughs> it's been really, really good. Work was good today. It is just super rainy, dreary outside. And we got a drive to make. So everything is packed, loaded by the door. The only thing we need to do is our makeup. And to be honest, I really just thought about packing it up and taking it with me. But I just feel like when you try to rush and do something when you're going somewhere, something always happens. And there might be an accident. It's raining. It might take me longer to get there. And then my face not going to be done. But when I tell you I have a full mind to just throw all this makeup in my bag and just be out, I really do. <laughs> but that's literally it. I just got to throw my clothes and walk out the door. 
So we're gonna try to do this quite quickly. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw one, like a movie or something to keep me preoccupied. Cause when I think about it, I'm moving even slower. That's not okay. So. Faces beat and we out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, back at it again In the kitchen whipping, I'm rapping again Keep on playing, bitch, then I'm stabbing your friend I'm in the hood, they think I'm back trapping again Ooh. Oh my gosh, back at it again Oh my crazy niggas about to go to the Waffle House. Waffle House shawl Waffle House. Waffle House. Waffle House. Like we're in Atlanta. Um, I wish y'all would've came with me to Atlanta. Atlanta's a time. Y'all fucking tell me you was in Atlanta until you was in Atlanta. It was fun. Y'all my right eye kind of closed when my <laughs> left one open. I think my lashes is too heavy. It is time to start getting ready for Bripper's birthday dinner. And your girl... I'm actually feeling very rested. Um, Bripper's house is very comfortable, so I feel very relaxed. I just don't feel like getting dressed. <laughs> the process of getting dressed is just not fun, but I love the after effect. But the process, we're going to this restaurant um, I've never been to in Carytown, so it's supposed to be really, really good, and your girl is hungry. <laughs> It is Sunday. It is my daddy's birthday. Um, dinner at the restaurant I went to last night with Brit Brit was so nice, y'all. But then we had some series of unfortunate events that I'm not quite yet ready to talk about. It's going to be funny one day, but it's just not funny right now. You know, life has been lifing, as y'all know. <laughs> but we're just going to move on. We're going to move on. We'll discuss it later. So you'll know when I feel like talking about it. <laughs> So we are now at um, a restaurant called The Boathouse on the river in Richmond. Um, it's my first time going. My parents have been before. Um, so I'm excited to go inside and check it out. It's so nice today. Like today feels like you low-key could have on a sundress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm home sweet home and um i actually got here before dark which was so nice it was nice y'all it was raining it wasn't a stressful drive it was so so nice um but i have not unpacked and we need to be in the bed within like the next 40 minutes because what are we doing starting off our week with in the gym okay because um while trying on said clothes while I was at Burberry's house to go out, I was like, mm, Lord Jesus, there's been a shift, okay, in the waistline. And however, I know like when you're trying to wear your old clothes and they're obviously too small, it just makes you feel like crap about yourself. <laughs> uh, but it's crazy how you can put on a completely different fit and feel just fine. But um, we gonna work on these LBs. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a really really good time it's been a really good week it went by really really fast um I enjoyed seeing my friend Brit Brit I love you so much girl um and I'm looking forward to having some more adventures um with Brit Brit like we got stories for days y'all of our adventures <laughs> <laughs> all the adventures that we have been on um and I'm looking forward to going on some more with her this year um I need to like I said unpack and get ready for next week um I have 
two days, two nights, three days before we are flying back to D.C. <laughs> to go to the Burner Boy concert and then coming right back in the wee hours of the morning because your girl is crazy. Um, but I'm really, really excited. I already know what I'm going to wear. I'm really in this comfort era. Like, I really only want to wear heels to go to dinner or to sit down at a lounge. Like, I just want to, you know, like the standing all night or at an event in heels is a, it's a dub, bruh. It's just not. Not my ministry anymore. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> So, yeah, I need to bust out some videos next week um, just so we'll have two videos for the rest of the month of March. So, I completely forgot um, in last vlog to close out with saying, like, uh, what you're proud of. So, please drop in the comments what you're proud of yourself for this week. This week, I am proud of myself for being able to pivot. I am proud of myself for working out and getting back in the gym. I am proud that I went to the gym, worked out my very first week back to work. Um, I'm proud of myself. Um, what else did I do? What am I proud of? I got my to-do list done this week. What else? And trying to stay in a pretty good headspace when things go awry. Um, being able to struggle back. <laughs> So that's all I got because my brain is fried. I'm tired and I can't think of nothing else. But please let me know what you were proud of of yourself. And y'all get ready for another exciting vlog next week because I am so excited to see my baby daddy. <laughs> I love him real bad. This will be my third or fourth time seeing him. She got it. She got it bad. We on the phone. Hang up, then you go right. Even though he's not calling me, I wish I could call him though. You feel me? It's fine. At this point, your girl is rambling. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. <laughs> I hope y'all have an incredible week and I will catch y'all in another vlog. Bye.